let's take a look at how we divide decimals, specifically if we have integers involved. Uh, let's say, for example, we've got this negative 23.52, and we're dividing that by 3.5. So part of the first one we needed to remember is to set this up. We put the 23.52 on the inside. Just like when we were multiplying, I'm not going to worry about the signs until I'm at the end. So I'm just going to leave a positive. We're dividing by 3.5. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is to move the outside decimal. We want to move that to make it a whole number. So this would have to move one time to make that 35 instead of 3.5. And then our next step would be to move the inside decimal to match. So inside decimal the same. So because we move the outside decimal once, then I want to move the inside decimal once. It's not important that this one in here is at the end. It doesn't have to be a whole number. Just this the outside one, the 35, needs to be a whole number. So we moved our outside decimal, we moved our inside decimal, and now we're going to bring the decimal straight up. So its new position is going to be here. Okay, and now we're just going to multiply and subtract is essentially how we do long division. Okay, so let's take a look at what that means. So now we've got this problem 35 and 235.2. We've got the decimal straight up. So now we're looking at 235.2 divided by 35. So first we want to put 35. How many times does 35 go into 2? It doesn't. How many times does 35 go into 23? It doesn't. So then we go 35 goes into 235. How many times? And this is when we just do some scratch work. So I can take a guess. Well, let's say, hmm, what's 35 times... Let's try 7. That's going to give me 35, 21, that's 24. We're trying to get 235 or less. We don't want to go over. Well, this one went over, so I don't want that one. So then we try again. Let's try 35 times 6 because that was a little bit too big, so let's go one less. That's going to give us 210. That is going to work. So I got 210. It's a close I can get without going over. And that took 6 times. So, so 6 times 35 is 210. Then we're going to subtract. And we're left with 25. And then I want to bring down my next digit. So I'm going to bring down the 2. And now I'm taking 35 goes into 252. Well, if I look what I already did here, that's pretty close. So let's go with that. So that's going to be 7 times. So 7 times, that was 245. So it kind of helped to show my work because now I don't have to figure that out again. Then I subtract again. Can't do 2 minus 5, so I borrow. So 5 becomes a 4. Make that a 12. It's going to give me 7 or 0, 0, so just a 7. Well, I still have a number left, so I can't stop, but there's no digits, so we add a 0, and we bring that down. And then, let's see, 35 goes into 70. I think that's 2, so we're going to multiply by 2 and see what we get. Yep, that's 70, so 2 times, and that got us exactly 70. So we're going to keep going until we get one of two things. Like we did here, we got to zero. That tells me I'm done. It's a terminating decimal. Or 
if I noticed that I kept getting the same number when I subtract, like I kept getting 7 or I kept getting 25, that's telling me that it's going to repeat and then I can stop also. Or if you're going out too far, you can stop and then round. So the last thing I need to do, like it says down here, don't forget, just like we have been doing, we have to check the sign. So get those integer rules out if you need them. If they are same sign, it's going to be positive. If they are different, it's going to be negative. So if we look back up here at our problem that we have, we got a negative divided by positive. So they are different signs, which means my answer is going to be negative. So we get negative 6.72.